welcome back to The List, I'm Donna Ruco. Gathering around the table with your family is the traditional way to spend Thanksgiving, but certainly not the only way. Rodney Spencer shows us how one local restaurant is preparing a meal we could all be thankful for around the valley. At number one, giving back. Preparations are underway here in the ZT Haas kitchen. Austin is preparing one of the 25 turkeys, 15 hams, and we're talking about 100 pounds of cornbread. And that's just the beginning. The invite only event is being held for soldiers, veterans, and their families. We want people to count on us, and there are troops that come to this event every year. Many veterans don't have the funds to be able to enjoy Thanksgiving, enjoy the holidays like many of the rest of us do and take for granted. So this is an opportunity for them to be able to enjoy and participate in the holidays. At number two, while your turkey is cooking, here's a few things you can do around the valley. You can hop on a flight from Sky Harbor to Burbank, grab a quick lunch, and get back on a plane and be back in Phoenix in just under three hours. Too much? Well, how about heading over to Castles and Coasters in North Phoenix? They're offering a Thanksgiving Day special, unlimited rides for 14 bucks. That means you can ride the Desert Storm 36 times in a row, although you may not feel like eating any turkey afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, still too much? How about just going on a relaxing drive from Gilbert to Surprise and back? <sighs> At number three, the duel in the desert has been deemed the best rivalry in college football. And while a many war is being waged on the field, the FAA will be fighting a different war in the sky. Drones will not be tolerated. The new rule says drones cannot be flown over any stadium that seats 30,000 people or more. Now you're caught up and clued in around the valley.